सूरीव प्रभात गगने गौरा संकीर्तन मायावाद तिमिंगिलोदर गुद्रित जीवा कृष्ण प्रेम सुधा दिगाहन सुखम प्रदात प्रभु तम भजे नमो गौरकिशोराय भक्तवधूतमूर्त गौरांगृपद्रृंगाय राधा भाव निषेविने वंदे भक्ति विनोद श्री गौरशक्तिस्वूपक भक्तिशास्त्रज्ञसम्राज राधारस सुधा नदी गौरव्रजाशिताशेषैरवैष्णवैरवंद विग्रह जगन्नाथ प्रभु वंदे श्रीमाब्धि बुद्धवैष्णव वाचाकुतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तूपस्वूपक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति नमो महावदाननाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरतुषे नम जय स परिकर्षि गुरु गौरांग गांधार्व गोविंद सुंदर जी उपात पद्मनाम नृस्त जय स परिकर्षि गुरु गौरांग गंधर्व का गिरिधारी जी उपात पद्मनाम नृस्त दंडवत प्रणाम टू ऑल द वैष्णव डिवोटीज एंड सर्वेटर्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य सारस्वत मठ वर्ल्ड वाइड सर्विंग एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ शिला गुरुदेव एंड परम गुरु महाराज everyone else also our uh, uh, namaskar and welcome to and our welcome friday, to evening. friday evening uh, uh krishna anusandhan search for shri krishna reality the beautiful i have our guests and divine panelists let me bring them on dandavat pranam shripad chinmay dev prabhu dandavat welcome दंडवत प्रणाम श्रीपाद अरुण कृष्ण प्रभु वेलकम एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव प्रीति जी एंड फैमिली वेलकम सो वी विल बी पिकिंग अप फ्रॉम वेयर वी लेफ्ट ऑफ लास्ट वीक अरुण प्रभु आई थिंक आई एम गेटिंग फीडबैक फ्रॉम योर योर एंड uh some audio feedback okay so we will pick up from um page 179 if anyone wants to follow and uh, the the title of the section reads the ultimate goal of life This is Param Guru Maharaj. There, in his famous conversations with Ramananda Rai, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began the approach to pure devotional service in a general and comprehensive way. This is recorded in the Madhya Leela of Chaitanya Charitamrita. He asked Ramananda Rai, "Prabhu, kahe parashlok sadhir nirnay. What is the ultimate goal of life? I not only want to hear your statements, but also evidence from the scriptures." The answer came from Ramananda Rai. Rai kahe sadharma charane Vishnu bhakti hai. Discharge your own duty without expecting anything in return. Sadharma means varnashram dharma, Vedic social stratification. You are posted in your present position by your previous karma. according to your present position you have to discharge your duties on one condition you must do them without remuneration if you go on with your duties in varnashram dharma 
Without any mundane name, you can achieve Vishnu Bhakti, devotion to God. This is confirmed in the Vishnu Puran. Varnashamacharavata Purushena Parapuman Vishnu Raradhyate Pantha Nanyat Tattosha Karnam. The only way to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu, is to worship Him by properly executing one's prescribed duties in the social system of Varna and Ashram. Here, Ramananda Rai says that Vishnu Bhakti, adherence to the Lord who is permeating everything, is the object and ultimate destination of our life. This is the Vasudeva conception. Everything is in Him and He is everywhere. Ramananda explained that from our local interests, we must come to embrace the general interest and that must reach the level of Vishnu consciousness, Vishnu Bhakti. Our submission to Vishnu, the internal spirit who is everywhere, is the object of life. We must connect with him and live accordingly, not a phenomenal life, but a spiritual life pertaining to a deeper, more subtle plane. So I want to um, bring this up to the panel that the one of the most famous verses, especially for the karma yogis or persons who just want to follow the path of karma, um, and especially the Indic background, is not explained properly and entirely um, by various personalities. And it is somewhat of a mystery of how it can even be possible the way it is. And so everyone, whoever is explaining, tries to put their own spin into it and what not, but it's pertinent here because what Param Guru Maharaj here said that do your duty, discharge your own duty without expecting anything in return. So, you remember that verse? Anyone? Ah, that's correct. Karmanne adhikaraste, karmanne adhikaraste, ma phaleshu kadachana, ma karma phal hetu ruhur, ma te sangostva karmani. So, that's a famous verse, but no one either reads it entirely or tries to understand it entirely. And then everyone starts blaming, well, Sri Gita is almost impossible to understand. So, let's stick to our whatever conception we have and whatever is more convenient. Then, at another point where he says, in this section, very important, the Vasudev conception. So usually you will hear the, the Brahmavadis or the impersonal is saying, Brahman is everything. He is all, all inclusive. It includes, he includes everything, but they cannot conceive of a personality. So, Bahunam Janmana Mante Gyanavana Mama Prapadyate Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudurlava. Uh, so it has to come to a point where 
they understand vasudev sarvamiti there is personality then on the other hand in more than one places uh, in in bhagavad gita it is he says uh, like i am ev- i am in i am everywhere yet everything is is in me I, you remember that in several instances he says that and for the life of me i couldn't understand like how is this possible like what kind of a personality is this huh? and the answer was very sweetly explained by param guru maharaj for example that verse yo mama pashyati sarvatra sarvam cha mai pashyati tasya ham na pranashyam search me na pranashyati so in that verse he's saying and i used to keep i used to wonder and in various temples and various institutions it's very nicely written up on the walls and it, it is it sounds very nice people sing it but very few understand it yo mam apashyati sarvatra one who sees me everywhere sarvam cha mai pashyati and sees everything in me tasya ham na pranashyami i am never lost to him search me na pranashyati and he is never lost to me i know excellent thank you namaskar anil ji welcome pranam hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna So just for you a little recap what we were discussing is this uh uh almost paradoxical kind of a situation which is sometimes explained by the lord by uh bhagwan shri krishna in bhagavad gita is i am i am everywhere everything and yet everything is in me as so how how do we reconcile that So one verse that we were trying to uh, look at, I think this is this verse is in Dhanio chapter six, verse number thirty. Uh, yeah, yo mama pashyati sarvatra sarvam chamai pashyati tasya hamana pranasham sarchamai na pranasyati. So when he says, "I am everywhere," that is the all permeating aspect, uh, ano oraniyan. means uh, he has entered even the smallest subatomic uh particle that one can conceive of and so forth so he's the all permeating aspect and then on the other side he says everything is in me that is the all comprehensive aspect so technically if one goes this way then one as explained comes to a point where they see both these aspects at that time bhagavad bhakti is possible i got it. thank you do you, do you follow so when is when when the 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 sadaka or the 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 uh when you know the practitioner starts starts to see it this way where everything he is everywhere he is everywhere all permeating aspect and at the same time everything is in him the all accommodating aspect at that time the lord is in person never lost to 
the devotee and the devotee is never lost to the Lord. It is only possible then. So again, if we look at back to our original, that, that one verse that we studied, that the absolute is known in, is known in three aspects, Brahman, Paramatma and Bhagawan. So only when the vision develops to the extent of being able to perceive both simultaneously, Brahman and Paramatma, then Bhagavad Bhakti is possible. Yes, Arun Prabhu. Um, I, I want to ask uh, Chinmay Prabhu, uh, if you are also hearing audio disruption or is it only me? Yes, uh, your audio or your audio and video is pausing and there's a break and it's also happening on Facebook. Okay. With your resolution, uh, even now, it's good now. Everything looks good from my end. I do see the dips here because it shows me. How about now, uh, Chinmay Dev Prabhu? Yeah, now there has been no disruption. Okay. Maybe it's Param Guru Maharaj's, uh, the data packets get like way too heavy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Because I have like gignet strength here, so it does not draw. Uh, I mean, you can't have a, a better throughput than this normally, unless you know it's Pixar Studios or something. Okay. Anyway, so that is the position of bhakti. Uh, but in a technical way, if going going dhyan yoga, if one is going in a technical way, but if one goes through surrender and goes through the proper channel, then it is very easy. Then one doesn't have to. Thankfully. Uh, thanks to the Lord, one doesn't have to depend on coming to this, you know, this level of being able to see simultaneously uh, all permeating and all accommodating aspects and then rise up to the level of attaining um, positive engagement. All of this is automatic. So, back to Param Guru Maharaj. If you if you have any comments or anything, I'd be please share. Prabhuji, I I I paid attention to this very specific word Param Guru Maharaj mentioned last sentence. We must connect with him and live accordingly. Not a phenomenal life, but a spiritual life pertaining to a deeper, more subtle plane. Not many people, at least people like, catch this. Not a phenomenal life. Well, life is simply a phenomenon. It just came about being, it will just exhaust itself. And let's just do, do the idiot, idiotic things that we continue to do. Then the world is just a phenomenon. Life is just a phenomenon. <laughs> 
the the external world those who continue to live in the external world they have taken shelter of the external energy and they continue to live there and uh, with the eyes of the flesh and uh, the senses and the mind they're happy so with that view they will judge and see everything um, there is nothing beyond that so that is the phenomenal world thank you for bringing that up uh, Prabhu. And, yes so i mean the, this sloka that he gives by the varna ashram you know in the west this conception of varna and ashram you know, unknown and we don't really understand it but i imagine in india there's some conception of it some understanding of it and but uh, i think our, like the idea of the Varna Ashram uh, way of living, I think maybe there might be a general idea, but I think the, de the scriptures give a very detailed description of what that means. And I've heard Gurudev say on, on many occasions in Kali Yuga, basically we are all Malecha. We are all not, we're not all, we're not following Vedic rules and regulations. No, so that is very true, Chinmoy yeah. Prabhu, because uh, what we follow right now, and I, by saying this, I, uh, I know that a lot of people will not like what I'm saying, but uh, uh, it is, it, it, what we follow, or what uh, is followed in India at this point in time is called Asrik Varnashram as compared to the original Dev Varnashram. And uh, we have dealt with this topic in detail, threadbare, um, and it's recorded, and we have it on YouTube also. So that is a, that Varnashram, what it is, what the perception is, and what really it was meant to be, or it is meant to be, um, is also there. Uh, to, to, um, address that thing that you're saying in the West. Yes, in the West, you may not perceive it, but the Varnas are there. The, that universal stratification is based on your natural propensity and, and uh, what work you perform. What your natural propensity is, not birth. So you will always see traders, persons who are tending toward being really sharp in trading. You will see great administrators, generals. You will see the pundits. They're, the mainstream media and all the other media, the conservative media or, or any other kind of media, they all say the pundits are saying this, the pundits are saying this. So the pundits are existing even in the Western society which is basically the opinion leaders that generalize it. They're the opinion leaders. Everyone else tends to follow them or to listen to them. Hmm? Then there are the farmers and the hard workers. So, Brahman Khatri Bhaisya Shudra. Chatur Varnayam Maya Sishtam Gunakarma Vibhagasa. When he says that, when the Lord says that I have, the, I have made this, which means it is an absolute fact. It does not mean it only is relative to India. India, we may perceive it in a different way, in a more, um, uh, like, um, way which is more uh, prescribed by the, by the Vedic injunctions or the vidhi. That's another thing. That doesn't mean that one who d refuses to perceive it, for them it doesn't exist. It does exist. Why? Because Krishna has created it. So you can choose to ignore it. Like I can say from now on, I refuse to admit there's any gravity. What is that worth? Hmm? So it's something like that. I can say no. I. I refuse to believe that there is gravity. No matter how much you try and prove it to me, it doesn't exist. Okay, for me, it doesn't exist. I've defined my own reality. Now, now people will laugh and people will do this, but hey, because I'm 
not from this town, gravity does not apply to me. <laughs> so, the same thing with, with Varnashram, it is, it is universal and in, in the entire multiverse, anywhere you may go, it will exist. Why? Because he has established it and he has said, my system. If he has done it, it's absolute. Yes, Arun Krishna Prabhu. Uh, Prabhu, I'd like to just... Uh, the word Malach, that itself is a good topic for understanding. Uh, I'm sorry for the di di digression, but I think it is relevant, as, as Chinmay Prabhu just mentioned. That's what Guru Maharaj said. So, uh, what is the definition of Malach? The way I read it, it is um, in the in the Vedic system. People are in the Vedic system as long as they understand the society, as long as they understand understanding that the society is based on the four varnas by natural intrinsic propensity and the same infrastructure as what the, the Lord has willed and that is what it is. So people who understand and see, yes, the society is based is based on the, the four varnas. And then uh, after the, the Mahabharata war, in fact, uh, people who were defeated, they really saved their skin and crossed over the mountains and went back to Central Asia. And those people who did not believe in the Vedic Dharma, based on the five, four Varna, they are called Malach, where the Malach only believe in two levels of society. Now, in the Malach, there are four Dharmas, four Varnas, but they don't understand. That's what I'm saying is the understanding. As long as the society understands there are four and four Varnas, those are based on the Sanatan Dharma. The Malach understand that the society is in only two categories, the free man and the slave. So, so as a traveler moved from Vedic society or moved away from the Indian continent to the West, where the people were so degenerated that their conception of the world was either I enslave somebody or you're free to do, you know, whatever you want. So that that is interesting. So the Malay society also continues to have one us, it's simply that they don't, they do not recognize. Them. So, uh, and I, I was once went to uh, to one of the dhams after I took initiation, and uh, one of the devotee there said, "Oh, Arun Krishna, please come here." And then he says, "So, where are you from? This and that." Oh, so are you a Brahman? Are you a uh, are you a Saraswatwar Brahman based on the name? Of I said, no, we are all Malach and Kali Yuga. <laughs> and then he was a little taken aback. Yes, yes, that is correct. <laughs> yeah, because they are used to the Smartas um, kind of uh, projecting themselves as the leaders yeah. and, and then beating down others. But then he hears mm -hmm. this refreshing yeah. uh, actual Brahman and then he's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but to come to that like the varnas i mean we've dealt this in in our series on varnasham but just to quickly repeat that in the Srimad bhagavatam it is given why why he has created so he has created the lord has created the stratification and it is there but in Bhag if one wants to know why then it is in bhagavatam atha pumbir duj shreshta varnasham vibhagasa Sanushtitasya dharmasya samsiddhir hari toshanam. So at the center of this Varnasham stratification is samsiddhir hari toshanam. 
नॉट तैंतीस करोड़ देवता नॉट द क्रोर्स एंड क्रोर्स ऑफ दीज हरी तोषणम वेरी सिंपल बट इफ यू टेक हरी आउट ऑफ देर एंड देन यू ट्राई टू फॉलो वर्नाश्रम देन यू विल एंड अप विद दिस अगली खाइन कैश सिस्टम विच एग्जिस्ट राइट नाउ which you you can only say is a degenerate kind of a vestigial um remnant of the real daivarnashram it has become exploitative and is a, a system of exploitation by one one of the others or the rest so at the pumbir dwij shreshta Oh, so we are losing the video like 10 seconds gap some so in like 2 2 minutes we'll lose this 10 second in between but please continue we'll we'll tolerate the disruption and the heavy subject of the <laughs> <laughs> no th- this is this is unbelievable 3.8 video battery ah so इसे अत पुंबीर दुज श्रेष्ठ वर्णाश्रम विभाग से सुनुष्ठित धर्म से विच मीन्स स्वनुष्ठित स्टे इन योर प्लेस स्टे वेर कर्मा हैज पुच यू वेर यू हैव गॉटन दिस प्लेस इन द वर्णाश्रम ग्रेड धर्म से एंड देन ट्राई टू प्लीज एंड ट्राई टू वर्क पॉजिटिवली फॉर द सैटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ द लॉर्ड हरी तोषण this is the real purpose of why varnashram even exists so that's the central you could say tenet why it exists um he has made it so he's declared that in bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam goes a little deeper to explain why he has done it and then there's a little thing for um the people who are in varnashram and who are thinking that they are following varnashram but they are missing that central haritoshanam then it is described in shrimad bhagavatam as if you are trying to do that then following your varnashram perfectly is only as good as shram evahi kevalam ना उत्पादेद यदि रतिम इफ इट इज फॉलोइंग योर परफेक्ट वर्णाश्रम अकॉर्डिंग टू फुल विधि यू नो ऑल द उच्चारण यू नो ऑल द डायरेक्शन यू नो ऑल द न्यास एवरीथिंग यू नो यू नो द पंचांग बैकवर्ड एंड फॉरवर्ड एवरीथिंग यू नो बट इफ बाय डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दैट ना उत्पादेद यदि रतिम इफ इट इज नॉट जेनरेटिंग और इवोकिंग सम अट्रैक्शन टू द मैसेज ऑफ द लॉर्ड श्री हरि लाइक सम सिद्धिर हरितोषणम इफ इट इज नॉट प्रोजेक्टिंग यू इन दैट डायरेक्शन देन ऑल दीज एफर्ट्स वेदर यू आर अ ब्राह्मण khatri vaishya shudra whoever you are then it all is zero shram evahi kevalam dharma sunishchita pumsam vishwak sena katha suya na utpadayad yadi ratim shram evahi kevalam so this is a warning to the existing asrik varnashram followers who strictly following who have a shikha who put on the put on the tilak in various forms and shapes and who pretend to be leaders of uh um uh, sanatan dharm and everything else and they may be big scholars they may not be doesn't matter but now padhe yadi ratim shram e bhi kevalam so it is given that it is following it and trying to follow the outer shell without the spirit is useless so that's why 
um, and when our acharyas and when our uh, uh, Saraswati Thakur and all of uh, all these uh, you know um, acharyas when they used to actually say things as they are then people used to they used to receive death threats and people used to try and like um, th actually physically threaten them so what they continue to do this and uh, someone has to do it someone you know if, if someone knows then one has to stand up and one has to at least represent it in the right way we're not trying to pick a fight with anyone uh, we respect everyone but as things are, if in the scripture, then it must be told. So persons within within uh, so-called the, the Hindu structure, they have a correct vision. Because I have seen myself a lot of uh, persons, especially the younger generation, becoming disillusioned and saying that this is just a thing of the past. It's oppressive. It doesn't make sense. It's racist and all kinds of things. Why? Because they are exposed to the wrong conceptions. And that's why they grow up in that uh, uh, environment and then they reject it. And then from the outside, the, uh, the outside world again perceives it as, as oppressive because, you know, the, the people are following it like that and so the Western and all the other people, they'll be like, look how ridiculous this is. Uh, the, you call it Sanatan Dharma, look at what you're doing. So, it's like a vicious cycle and just doesn't stop. <clears throat> so, can we continue? All right. Okay. Next section reads devotion mixed with desires. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, This is superficial, go deeper. Of course, it may be thought that actual theistic life begins from here. Giving up the special local purpose and acting for a universal purpose. As already ordered and programmed in the Vedas and Upanishads. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, this is superficial, go deeper. Then, Ramananda Raya said, Krishna Karmarpana. Sarvasad Desar to offer the results of one's activities to Krishna is the essence of all perfection. In Varnashram Dharm, it is the fashion that people are generally engaged in external activities and do not care to give up the fruits of their action. Even if they do, they have no direct consciousness of Vishnu or Krishna. They worship the goddess Durga, perform the Shrad uh, funeral ceremony and execute so many other religious practices. Indirectly, it is ultimately connected with Vishnu. They may or may not know how, but the link is there. That is the general conception of Varnashram. But here Ramananda says that it will be better to have direct consciousness that Krishna is the authority. All the results of whatever we do within the Varnashram social system must be given to Krishna. If we perform all our physical, social, national and spiritual activities in Krishna consciousness, then we can approach 
the fulfillment of our goal in life. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, this is superficial, go deeper. Then Ramananda Raya revealed new light, quoting the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, verse 66. Sarva dharmana paritajya maamekam sharanam raja. Give up all your duties and just surrender to me. We must be particular with the object of life, not the external activities of our nashram. Less importance should be given to the form of our activity. Whether I am a king, a brahmana, intellectual or a worker does not matter. We may think, I have this sort of duty, I have that sort of duty, but that does not matter very much. We must have no attachment for that. The king may leave his kingdom and take to a brahminical life of renunciation and austerity. A shudra may give up his labor, become a beggar and chant the name of Krishna. A brahmana may give up his performance of sacrifice and become a mendicant. So we are to be particular about the aim of life, not the form of our duty. We must exclusively devote ourselves to the cause of the Lord. Ignoring our present paraphernalia and duty. So that last verse, which pause here with the Param Guru Maharaj's uh, quoting here, Sarva Dharman Puritajya, Mame Kam Sarnam Raja, Aham Tam Sarva Pape Bhyo, Mokshashyan, Mahasucha. Param Guru Maharaj explains it that when the, the uh, Lord says, the Sarva Dharman Puritajya, Mame Kam Sarnam Raja, what is to take Sharan of the Lord or to surrender to Him. Generally, this verse is explained by persons on the first level that whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Hindu, whether you're this, whether you're that, you give up all of that and you surrender at the lotus feet of the Lord. And that is, that is right, in a way. Well, when he says Sarva Dharmana Paritajya, it also means Varnashram Dharma. Even that you give up. Because for the ones who are following just the outer shell, they become attached to the form, the external form. They have no spirit of it. So Param Guru Maharaj says, you give your Varnashram Dharma also. Up. That is also a Dharma. All kinds of Dharma, all kinds of external duties you give up. Then come to me. Hmm? So, which I wasn't like, uh, I wasn't aware at that time when I heard. Uh, because I was thinking, oh, this is like calling everyone into Varnashram, right? First level, first level understanding. But Param Guru Maharaj says, uh uh uh, Varnashram is also Dharma. When he says Sarva Dharmana Varitajya, that's absolute. You give up all conceptions of religiosity that you have. It could be Varnashram, but you have to give that up. Maamaikam <laughs> Sharanam Raja. Then there is some question of surrender. Yes, Anil yes, Anil Prabhu. See, the very gross meaning of dharma, right? The way the people interpret it is, it is an equivalent to religion, right? And that is what I think you just mentioned, that is a misconception. Uh, when he's saying sardhan, paritajya, so basically he's talking about all the duties, right? Which includes whatever you are doing, right? Not only your religion. Because that's the, how the 
the very basic minimum, the basic meaning which has been told to everybody that dharma is basically same as religions, they are equal, right? Yeah. But it is not. It, that, that word dharm itself is a very, have a deep meaning, and it includes your duty, it includes what is right, and all those things, right? That's, that's what I'm taking right now. This yes. is explained very nicely by uh, Srila Swami Maharaj. Uh, he explains it very nicely and uh, simply is that religion may change. I may change my religion. Anyone may change their religion. But their dharm cannot change. That is only why... The, so. You, why is it called Sanatan Dharma? Sanatan means what? Eternal. Eternal. Eternal means that which does not change. So externally, I may I change my dress, I may change my look or get up, and instead of you know tilak this way, I put it this way or something else. But does that mean that I can change my dharma? So that dharm, uh, he, he translated very nicely as as um, in English to mean the eternal occupation of the soul. That's what Sanatan dharm means, or that's what dharm means if you are to equate somewhat in English. Occupation of the soul. That is dharm. The religion does not mean them at all, in any way or fashion. So, dharm, if I, if you were to define, in English, yes, it can be done. Somewhat, it can be done justice in this way. Eternal occupation of the soul equals dharm. Does that make sense, Anilji? Yes, sir. So I think we should pause here if... Um, yes. If you permit, and... Jai Shila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj ki jai. Jai Om Vishnupad. Shila Bhakti Sundar Govind Dev Goswami Maharaj ki jai. And uh, we will continue our discussion. We are having this uh, nice Sangha and uh, this uh, uh, wonderful uh, get-together that we have on Fridays um, on the orders of uh, Srila Bhakti Bhavan Janardhan Maharaj, our guardian here and so in Sokalpuri. And uh, we are trying to be of some service to the servitors the lotus feet of Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Gandharvika Giridhari Ji. So pardon my offenses and please um, give me like a minute or two to gather the troops here and please continue any discussion you may have.
भज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद भज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैता गदाधर शिव सदे गौर कवेंद श्री अदय गदाधर शिव शिवश गौर भक्त हरिहराय नम कृष्ण यादवाय नम हरिहराय नम कृष्ण यादवाय नम यादवाय माधवाय केशवाय नम गोपाल गोविंद राम श्री मधुसूदान गोपाल गोविंद राम श्री मधुसूदान गिरीदारी गोपीनाथ मदन मोहन गिरीधारी गोपीनाथ मदन मोहन श्री चैतन्य नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैता चांद्र श्री चैतन्य नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैता चांद्र गदाधरा शिवा सदी गौरा भक्ता वृंद गदाधरा शिवा सदी गौर भक्त वृंद जया रूप सनातन भट्टा रघुनाथ जया रूपना भट्ट दस रघुनाथ श्री जीवा गोपाल भट्ट दस रघुनाथ इच्छा गो साय को री चरण वंदन ऐ गो साय को री चरण वंदन जहा होते विज्ञाना शबिष्ट पुराण जहा होते विज्ञाना शबिष्ट पुराण इच्छा गो साय जन्म तारा दास दास बारा पादा रेणु मोरा पंचा ग्रास मोरा चरण से भी भक्त सन बास जाना में जाना में मोरा है अभिलाष जाना में जाना में मोरा है अभिलाष इच्छा गो साय जब ब्रज कोयला बास ईशाई गो साय जब ब्रज कोयला बास शिशि राध कृष्ण नित्य लीला कोरेला प्रकाश श्री श्री राध कृष्ण नित्य लीला कोरेला प्रकाश आनंद बोलो हरे बजा वृंदावन आनंद बाल हरि भज बिंदाबान श्री गुरु वैष्णव पद मजाई अमान श्री गुरु वैष्णव पद मजाई अमान श्री गुरु वैष्णव पद मा कोरे आस श्री गुरु वैष्णव पद मा कोरे आस हरे नाम संकीर्तन कहे नरोतम दास हरे नाम संकीर्तन कहे नरोतम दास हरि हराय नम कृष्ण यादवाय नम हरि हराय नम कृष्ण यादवाय नम यादवाय माधवाय केशवाय नम दबाय माधवाय केशवाय नम 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Nitai Gora Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Nitai Gora Hare Bol. Nitai Gora Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gora Hari Bol. Jaya Guru Dev, Guru Dev, Jaya Jaya Guru Dev. Jaya Jaya Guru Dev, Guru Dev. Jagaranga Sunda, 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 Jai Saprika Shri Shri Guru Guranga Kanvar Govinda Shundari Giri Dari Gopi Laju Ki Jai Jai Mishnu Pasman Shapur Chakrara Vriyasa Sat Shri Shri Mahad Bhakti Sundar Dev Kusim Maharaj Ki Jai 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 Mishnu Pasman Shapur Chakrara Vriyasa Sat Shri Shri Mahad Bhakti Raksak Shri Dev Kusim Maharaj Ki Jai 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 Mishnu Pasman Shapur Jaram Vishnu Pada Mantra Pura Chakrara Vriyasa Sat Shri Shri Mad Bhakti Snatha Swasti Tukur Ki Jai Jaram Vishnu Pada Chodra Shri Gurk Shodra Das Babji Maharaj Ki Jai Jaram Vishnu Pada Chodra Chodra Shri Ananda Bhakti Vinodya Thakur Ki Jai Jaram Vishnu Pada Chodra Shri Ananda Bhakti Vinodya Thakur Ki Jai Jaram Vishnu Pada Chodra Shri Rupa Nugagar Varga Ki Jai Jai Namachar Shri Lahari Das Chakur Ki Jai Jai Ananta Koti Vaish Namavinda Ki Jai Jai Shri Baldi Vidhi Bhushan Ki Jai Jai Shri Lavishnatra Karate Puru Ki Jai Jai Shri Nortama Shamanda Shri Nivasha Charya Prabhu Ki Jai Jai Shri Lavinda Vandas Tukur Ki Jai Jai Shri Lak Krishna Das Kaviraj Ki Jai Jai Sapar Sada Shri Nathya Nanda Prabhu Ki Jai Jai Sapar Sada Shri Maha Prabhu Ki Jai 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 Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopu Gopi Natram Kundra Radha Kundra Giri Govardhan Ki Jai Jai Shri Lakshmi Vardeva Ki Jai Jai Shri Bhakti Vigna Vinasha Arshin or Shri Madeva Ki Jai Jai Bhakta Prabhupada Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Tulsi Maharani Ki Jai Jai Ganga Jamna Ji Ki Jai Jai Granta Raja Shumbh Bhagavatam Chaitanya Charmatra Ki Jai Jai Vishwa Vaishnava Raja Sabha Ki Jai Jai Akrat Mahath Raja Shri Chaitanya Mahath Ki Jai Tadya Sakamat Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Vishwa Pabhiya Tadya Sakamat Ki Jai Shri Dhamarpur Ki Jai Shri Dhamrabhadi Ki Jai Vendavan Pursatam Dham Ki Jai Valdeva Subhadar Jagnaji Ki Jai Shri Govinda Kunda Ki Jai Shri Shadra Shiva Gangra Jiu Ki Jai Jai Samaveta Vaishnava Mandu Ki Jai Jai Samaveta Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai Jai Harinam Sankritan Ki Jai Jai 
हरी हरी बोल जय श्री अनिका जी प्रीति जी विक्रम जी एंड फैमिली की जय और डिवाइन पैनलिस्ट श्रीपाद अरुण कृष्ण प्रभु एंड श्रीपाद चिन्मय देव प्रभु की जय अनिल जी और डिवाइन गेस्ट की जय एंड टुडे ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ जय शिला भक्ति पावन जनार्दन महाराज की जय जय शिला भक्ति निर्मला आचार्य महाराज की जय सोरेन शिला एसी भक्ति विधान स्वामी प्रभुपाद की जय टुडे आई वांट टू मेक अ स्पेशल मेंशन ऑफ एवरीवन दैट आई फेल टू एक्नॉलेज दे आर ऑलवेज अटेंडिंग दे आर ऑलवेज पार्टिसिपेटिंग द फेसबुक section so you know just a few um, that i can uh, that i know that are there and they comment uh, madhav prabhu ki jai acharya ratna das prabhu ki jai adipta uh, krishna prabhu ki jai raj bhavan yadav uh, prabhu ki jai bimla didi ki jai um, yeah. madhu krishna prabhu ki jai yeah. um, so uh, my dandavat pranam to all of you for being supportive and uh, always participating in our discussions and sessions uh, pardon my offenses and please continue to bless us um so with that uh, we conclude today's session and we will be uh, are we having uh, tomorrow uh, chinmay dev prabhu's uh, broadcast yes 7:30 california time 7:30 California time so we'll be there uh, Arun Prabhu you're you we can't hear you <laughs> cannot hear you yeah now now okay your arun prabhu ki jai ji ki jai 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 ji ki jai now to jai Oh no see no wonder it was off see i but the how foolish i am i can't get the cue like just ignore it but for me like arun prabhu saying something so i have to listen listen anyway hari krishna signing off jai hari krishna thank you so much